Star Wars has dominated our cultural commons for almost four decades since it originally hit the theaters in 1977 and has given us sort of this piece of pop culture that is unique in that multiple generations, fathers, sons, moms, daughters, grandparents even, can have a conversation about a thing that is going on in pop culture in Hollywood and everybody just generally kind of knows what we're talking about. You could ask most people, I think, in the casino here at this hotel that we're at today, uh, you know, who is the father of Luke Skywalker? And a lot of people will know. And I basically have this premise in the book that that's actually very special. You know, that's a very special thing in any culture to have a shared story of any kind. And that's what this book is about. In Europe, the problem is we go more and more back in the way to plant economy. So, and you know, this is similar to things that Joe Biden wanted to do here in the United States. They take climate change and all this as an excuse. But what they, be, they don't believe in a free market. They believe in the state. They believe that the state can solve every problem. But if this would be true, Soviet Union would have won the Cold War and not the United States.